Good afternoon, Julian. Good afternoon, Eben. What exactly is a discharge application? Now, proceedings at the Health Professions Council of South Africa was very brief today, Eben. Um, it's possibly not the outcome Dr. Vota Bassan had hoped for. Now, with any court case or any inquiry, an accused person has the option to apply for a discharge application once the prosecution rests its case. Now, this is just a litmus test to determine if there is a case to answer, if, if there is a prima facie case. Now, a, a large portion of Passan's submissions yesterday looked at the testimonies of the expert witnesses that the prosecution had called. And in that, Passan had argued that these witnesses, the one was an American witness, his name was Professor, Professor Stephen Miles. Um, Passan had said that Professor Stephen Miles was not in a position to make any inferences on whether he was unethical or unprofessional in his conduct during the 1980s. Now, um, today, however, the Commission had ruled that it is premature to make a ruling on those testimonies and therefore dismissed um, Bassan's uh, discharge application. Eben. Now just tell us what's Bassan's next move likely to be? Now it's been a decade-long battle for Bassan trying to um, clear his name. All along he's maintained that he ha that he's, he's innocent. What will happen now is that um, the hearing will resume. We will return to Pretoria at the Health Professions Council of South Africa in March, where Bassan is either likely to take the stand, to take the commission into his confidence, to answer the tough questions, to answer to the charges, the four remaining charges that uh, will be put to him. He, is, he can also uh, either call expert witnesses to bolster his case, to somehow indicate why he took the decisions that he took during those times. Yevon. That's our reporter, Gillian Pillay in Pretoria. Thank you very much.